The overall goal of this in vitro kinase assay is to identify phosphorylation sites in a protein of interest that are specific for the kinase cyclin-dependent kinase 1. The identification of CDK1-specific phosphorylation sites is important as they provide mechanistic insights into how CDK1 controls the cell cycle. Cell cycle regulation is critical for phase-full chromosome segregation and defects lead to chromosomal aberrations in cancer. The main advantage of this technique is that it relies on purified proteins. Therefore, it can be applied to any model organism and yields reliable results, especially when combined with functional studies in cells. This method is important as the known number of CDK1 targets is still low, despite the fact that CDK1 phosphorylates an estimated 8 to 13 percent of the proteome. So this method identifies CDK1-specific phosphorylation sites. It can be modified to identify phosphorylation sites for other kinases, provided that the purified kinase is available. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because the conditions for the kinase assay have to be optimized for each protein target to obtain high phosphorylation efficiency, preferably 100%. Use IGPS 3.0 software and visit the web server to predict the CDK1-specific phosphorylation sites in the SEMPF target protein sequence. Check the phosphorylation sites against the CDK1 consensus sequence. Start the protein expression by preparing a preculture. Following the manufacturer's instructions, transform 1 microliter of the expression plasmid into 50 microliters of E. coli-competent cells. 